Hey everybody, I'm Randy Ridings, and this is the Quad Jack. After the frame was damaged in a fire in the spring of 2016, we are now well on our way to rebuilding the Quad Jack in the fall of 2017. What you're looking at right here are some photos of the damage the fire did, and then we'll go into videos of the rebuild. We've been working on it pretty constantly now for close to a month, which hasn't given me a lot of time to upload videos. So I apologize for that, but I've been filming the whole process as I've gone, and I'll be getting those edited and on as soon as I can. Enjoy. So we have welded now the aluminum bike frame to the plates that hold the bearings that hold the axle and they are on our aluminum bar that will go in the base of the boat. Cranks will go here uh, and then your uh, sprockets all fit right about there along with the disc brakes. A little further work on these uh, lift plates that will lift up the front axle me mechanism. These will be up in here and they're now drilled out. This is the where it'll lift up. It has to be angled uh, for the angle of the uh, of the lift. Dad bought a new piece for the axle. This is water hardened drill stem. Okay, further progress on the front end. You can see the cutouts here. So this whole frame here will come up. So the axle can come up through this cutout. Um, if you look right here, you'll see that there's there'll be three bolts holding it in. When we lift it, it'll only be one up at the top, but that is okay because in the water, there's no weight on it. So when it's in the road position, like it is right now, it has three bolts on each plate holding it together and then down to the frame. Um, in, in, in the water, it'll only have the one bolt. You can also see the uh, support right there is in place. There's another one on this side. It's been screwed into the boat here, which will keep this boat since we've weakened it right here a little bit, let's keep the boat from folding up. Okay, we've now put this uh, rear cross beam through the boat. There's another plate inside that's about like this. Bolted there, bolted there. Uh, we're going to come up to this middle bolt with a support down to a plate to the, the bottom of the boat uh, right now. And pardon me for taking you upside down. But right now, it just looks like that. So what I'm working on is getting these bearing cup holders into what is analogous to a head tube. This is on the rear assembly. We've taken it off the boat. So I'm working on this one over here. What I'll do first is pound that in a little bit, uh, the hammer and a wooden block just to, just to get it seated. They're flanged a little bottom. I just want it to seat in that aluminum. And then I'm taking it over to a vise uh, and just pressing between the two. And, uh, and they just push right into that aluminum block pretty, pretty easily. So what we're looking at here on a milling machine is coming in from the side of a piece. We're cutting out a channel that will end up being a hinge. So what Dad's doing now is he's cleaning up this aluminum before he welds. Um, aluminum forms an aluminum oxide skin within 24 hours of it being raw uh, aluminum. It'll it'll uh, oxide oxidize just the outside, just a little skin. Well, that skin melts at about 2400 degrees, where the metal underneath it melts at 1200 degrees. So if you weld where there's already oxidation, by the time you burn through 
the outer skin, you've melted what's underneath it and you don't get as good a weld. So if you clean it up, then you have about 24 hours where you can weld on it before you would need to clean it up again. Heating up this piece of aluminum to bend it to fit in the bottom of the boat. Dad's got a oxygen acetylene cutting torch. And he's warming up this metal. And then I'm going to take this thing, put it over the top, see if we can't bend it to the angle we want. If it's not, it's white. Nope. bent that piece right there, but it's a little bit thinner than that, than this, right? Yeah. So this is going to be one of the base plates in the bottom of the boat. That's, or this is for the kind of the front part of the frame, that's for the rear part of the frame. Um, steel, you can tell when it's ready to bend because it will turn red, but aluminum doesn't do that, and so you just got to keep testing it. <laughs> yeah. It's very easy to get it too warm and melt it. Yep. How far? Well, no, no. That is it, wait. Is that the end bend as much as this one? Um, yeah. Okay. That's pretty straight. I'm straight it back out. Maybe a little bit more. Try that. Okay, let's flip that. Okay, so we are threading the end of an axle. We've got this on the lathe, but we're cutting this by hand. This is our die, which we're turning with a wrench turning the other side of it, turning the spindle by hand with this. And we're going to come in four and three quarters inches and we've probably done an inch and a half, maybe. Hey everybody, I'm going to end there because I don't want these videos to get too long. I've got at least this much more filmed and the rebuild isn't even done. So the rest of the rebuild will be split up into probably two, maybe three more videos. I don't know. In the meanwhile, enjoy some shots from my first long trip. Uh, this was on Missouri highways, the Osage River, the Missouri River, and the Katy Trail. I'll do a whole video on that trip at some point, maybe even a series of videos. Uh, I filmed and photographed that as I went along and kind of tell you the route and some of the things that were happening. This is just a little teaser uh, for that video in the future. I'm Randy Writings, and this is The Quad Yap.